And all of a sudden my confidence dribbled away with a pitiful plop. My head was beginning to swim and my forehead was covered in cold perspiration. I started to reach for a book and my hand automatically came to a stop. I don't know how long is it frozen a victim of panic and mortification. Oh, how I wanted to flee. What a kindly voice, a gentle voice whispered, pardon me. And there was this dear, sweet, clearly respectable, thickly bespectacled man who stood by my side and quietly said to me, Ma'am, don't mean to intrude, but I was just wondering, are you in need of some help? I said, no, yes I am. <laughs> the next thing you know, I'm sipping hot chocolate and telling my troubles to Paul, whose tender brown eyes kept sending compassionate looks. A trip to the library has made a new girl of me, for suddenly I can see the magic of books. to admit in the back of my mind I was praying he wouldn't get fresh and all of the while I was wondering why an illiterate girl should attract him and all of a sudden he said that I couldn't go wrong with the way of all flesh of course it's a novel but I didn't know what I certainly wouldn't have smacked him he gave me a smile that I couldn't resist and I knew at once how much I liked Subtometrist <laughs> Optometrist You know what this dear, sweet, slightly bespectacled gentleman said to me next He said he could solve this problem of mine I said, how? He said, if he'd like, he'd willingly read to me some of his favorite things I said when, he said now. His novel approach seemed highly suspicious and possibly dangerous too. I told myself, wait, how dare you go up to his flat? What happens if things go wrong? It's obvious he's quite strong. <laughs> he read to me all night long. Now how about that? It's hard to believe how truly domestic and happily hopeful I feel. I picture my paw there reading aloud as I cook. As long as he's there to read, there's quite a good chance indeed. A chance that I'll never need to open a book. And like someone else, someone I dimly recall, I know he'll only have eyes for me, my optometrist Paul.